Hi, in today's video, we're going to revisit the topic of candlesticks. In the last video, we talked about what candlesticks are and why they're important for reading the charts. Today, we're going to talk more specifically about candlestick patterns and what they indicate. As a quick recap, candlesticks display very important information about an asset's price movements. They are one of the most important technical indicators and traders can interpret a lot by just viewing a few candlestick bars on a chart. So again, the basic features of a candlestick are the body, which represent the open and closing prices of an asset, the wicks or shadows, which represent the high and low movements of the market over the period of that candlestick, the color, which reveals the direction of the market movement, a green body indicates a price increase, while a red body shows a price decrease. Over time, candlesticks form patterns that traders can use to identify major support and resistance levels. There are many candlestick patterns that can be used to identify the various selling and buying pressures in the market. Others can also be used to identify continuation patterns or when there's great indecision in the market. And before you start trading, it's very important to understand what these patterns mean and how they can inform your trading decisions. The best way to learn candlestick patterns is to open a demo account and to enter and exit trades based on their signals. Although candlesticks can be great for quickly predicting a trend, it is also important to remember to use other technical indicators to confirm the trend and of course to use good risk management. To start the video off, we're going to be talking about six bullish candlestick patterns. As we know, bullish patterns form after a market downtrend and often signal a reversal in the trend. And they are an indicator for traders to open a long position to profit from an upward trajectory. So the first candlestick pattern we're going to be covering is the hammer. Hammer candlestick patterns consist of a short body with a long lower wick and they're found at the bottom of a downtrend. A hammer shows that although there were selling pressures, ultimately a strong buying pressure drove the price back up. The color of the body can vary. They can be red or green hammers, but green hammers indicate a stronger bull market than red hammers. A similarly bullish pattern is the inverted hammer, the only difference being that the upper wick is long while the lower wick is short. It also indicates a buying pressure, followed by a selling pressure that was not strong enough to drive the market price down. The inverse hammer suggests that buyers will soon have control of the market. Next, you get the bullish engulfing pattern, and it is formed by two candlesticks. The first candlestick, as you can see here, is a short red body that is completely engulfed by a larger green candle. Though the second one opens lower than the first, the bullish market pushes the price up, which culminates in an obvious win for buyers. Then you get the piercing line. The piercing line is also a two-stick pattern made up of a long red candle, and this is followed by a long green candle. And there is usually a significant gap down between the first candlestick's closing price and the green candle's opening price. It indicates a strong buying pressure as the price is pushed up to or above the mid price of the previous day. Next, you get the morning star, and this is a fairly popular candlestick pattern. It is considered a sign of hope in a bleak market downtrend, and it's basically a three-stick pattern, one short-bodied candle between a long red and a long green candle. And traditionally, the star will have no overlap with the longer bodies because the market gaps both on open and close. And it signals that the pressure of the first day is subsiding and a bull market is on the horizon. Then you get three white soldiers, and these occur over three candles. It consists of consecutive long green candles with small wicks, which open and close progressively higher than the previous day. It's a very strong bullish signal that occurs after a downtrend and shows a steady advance of buying pressure. If we move on to bearish candlestick patterns, these often occur after a long uptrend, and it often occurs when the resistance level has been hit. Heavy pessimism often causes traders to close their long positions and open short positions as they can now profit from the falling of the price. The hanging man is the bearish equivalent of the hammer that we mentioned earlier with the bullish patterns. It has the same shape, but it forms at the end of an uptrend. It indicates that there was a significant sell-off, but that the buyers were able to push the price up again. 
And the large sell-off is often seen as an indication that the bulls are losing ground. Next, you have the shooting star, and it's the same shape as the inverted hammer, but it's formed in an uptrend. It has a small lower body and a long upper wick, and usually the market will gap slightly high on opening and rally to an intraday high before closing at a price just above the open, like a falling star to the ground. So next you get the bearish engulfing pattern. This occurs at the end of an uptrend and the first candle has a small green body that is engulfed by a subsequent long red candle. It signifies a peak or a slowdown of price movement and it's a sign of an impending market downturn. The lower the second candle goes, the more significant the trend is likely to be. Next we have the evening star and this is a three candlestick pattern and it's the equivalent of the bullish morning star. It is formed from a short candle sandwiched between a long green candle and a large red candle. It indicates a reversal of an uptrend and it's particularly strong when the third candle erases the gains of the first candle. Next you get three black crows and this candlestick pattern comprises three long red candles with short or non-existent wicks. Each session opens at a similar price to the previous day but selling pressures push the price lower and lower with each close. Traders usually interpret this pattern as the start of a bearish downtrend because the sellers have overtaken the buyers with three consecutive candles. And lastly, you get dark cloud cover. And this candlestick pattern indicates a bearish reversal, a basically a black cloud over the previous day's optimism. It comprises two candlesticks, a red candlestick, which opens above the previous green body and closes below its midpoint. It signals that the bears have overtaken the session, pushing the price sharply lower. And if the wicks of the candles are short, then it suggests that the downtrend was extremely decisive. So overall, recognizing various candlestick patterns can be very useful in determining price movements. But always use other technical analytical tools to help confirm your decisions. And remember to practice good risk management. If you have any questions regarding candlesticks or any other trading related question, please don't hesitate to send it through to us. Our website is fxscouts.com and please remember to subscribe and like. Cheers.